Hey, SJSU iSchool students, do you feel like you're already falling behind? It's because there's so much happening at SJSU iSchool. So let's catch up with an August recap featuring the news, career blog, Siri blog, curriculum center blog, iStudent blog, Mara blog, and Vicara blog. In the news, August saw some thrilling developments. So check it out. At the ALA conference, the iSchool community poster session in June 2019 featured multiple students in the news. Tamika Beckett, a 2018 MLS grad, presented on intersecting data analytics and student engagement through active and service learning. And a current student, Rosa Conrad, presented her poster on You're Invited, how interactive displays can transform library spaces for student engagement. And Terry Chavon, current MLS student, presented on the planning, development, and digitization of Judy Art Studio Collection at the Penn State Library. And current student Susan Crow presented on Technology and the Law, Closing the Justice Gap. Congrats to Tameka, Rosa, Susan, and Terry. We also had some exciting faculty news. Dr. Anthony Marine was awarded a first-generation student research grant and is part of the ALA History Roundtable. Dr. Deborah Hicks was awarded a $5,000 grant for her research in debating diversity, how Twitter facilitates professional discussions. And Dr. Michael Stevens uh, continues to excite with word that he is part of the advisory board for IMLS on civic engagement. And the career blog is currently written by iSchool MLS student, Greta Snyder. That's me, hello. And some top career reads include a June and July recap. Unexpected benefit of the interview is confidence. You have to read it to believe it. And then an excellent LAS career books roundup featuring iSchool career consultant, Kim Doherty. And always a good question to ask yourself, is your workplace toxic? Read more to find out. Siri blog is SJSU Center for Information Research and Innovation, and it's LAS research for a global audience. The blog is run by Siri coordinator, Dr. Lily Liu. A must read from August is Dr. Lisa Dalby providing an invaluable primer for information professionals on the EU GDRP, which took effect in 2018 and is designed to protect the privacy of individuals through the right to be forgotten. A very compelling topic. On the curriculum blog, it's managed by Dr. Linda Main and can be found at iSchoolBlogs.sjsu.edu slash blogs slash ICC. The link is from the main website, don't worry. Spring 2020 courses have been announced, believe it or not. So that's a must read for current students. Also a must read for current students is the iStudent blog. It's written by iSchool MLS student Havala Steinman. It's a great way to stay connected with other students. Check out A Day in the Life with Keel Mangerino written by Mara student, Kenna Walker. This is an excellent look at a day in the life of a student, and you also find out that Keel loves Nutella, and much more, so you must read it. Miracosta Community College Library is thriving. Find out how. And the Mara Bog. As I just mentioned, Kenna Walker is a Mara student, and she is the current writer of the Mara blog. There were so many excellent reads in August. Some top highlights include tips for online classes, how to make it all work, Kenna outlines time management, holding yourself accountable, being realistic, and planning ahead. And then also, are you interested in how Ebony and Jet and other publications might have shaped history? Read more in this very interesting article that Kenna posted, which also talks about the future process of archives. And JSTAR is now making interviews available, which is very cool. Bacara is the Virtual Center for Archives and Records Administration. It's currently managed by Mara coordinator Pat Franks and can be found at SJSU 
BCRA, so Vicara.weebly.com. And the 10th annual Vicara Conference Recap is posted in the blog this month, and the 2020 conference will be in April. So check it out if you're interested. And finally, thank you. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to the September recap, and be sure to check out all the resources available through SJSU iSchool at iSchool.sjsu.edu in the news and events section.